Hickok 45 here. I want to give you a little information on basic gun storage. All right, this is not everything you always wanted to know about how to store your guns, but I want to cover a couple of things that have helped me immensely for decades, really. I've used this method for decades and it's worked for me, okay? <laughs> Uh, number one is, the main point is, here's a gun that's not wrapped up. A, a firearm will develop rust on it from your hands, just from touching it. I know you don't think your hands are oily, you don't think they're wet, or there's any moisture, but if you handle a firearm, you can get a little rust. See that little piece of rust there? I think there's two or three places where this shotgun, shotgun has some rust on it, and it is actually parkerized. Now this is not my shotgun, I borrowed it, okay, for uh, example A, <laughs> uh, exhibit A, rather, uh, this to show, and it's not all that bad, a uh, little steel wool and oil and lightly, you know, work line, it'll be gone, but, uh, but, and that's parkerized though, and so it can actually happen, okay, if you just touch it and, and leave it somewhere, all right. Now imagine what could happen to a blued gun, a fine blued, you know, barrel, uh, receiver on a shotgun, rifle, handgun. And the things that have kept me from, from experiencing that, of course, being pretty meticulous, and, and I have a, a wheel in my brain, a time clock kind of thing, you know, uh, if I haven't touched a firearm, some firearm I haven't, I don't know, shot for three, four years or something, I, occasionally I'll just get one out and go over it, maybe make sure it's oiled, maybe even just break it down, you know. Uh, on a Saturday morning or something and, and uh, work on it, clean it, make sure it's really clean. If it's something I'm not shooting, my, or, I mean, just for the fun of it. As I've said before, cleaning a firearm is actually fun for me and breaking one down. So, But the two main things I wanted to just talk about here briefly, you notice I've got my guns piled up here, these rifles and these handguns. And I use these I don't know, there's lots of different names for them. I'm not going to promote some specific type. You know, they're, they're all gun socks to me, okay, uh, is what I always call them. I keep my firearms in these. Now, if you just have oh, a few, or you got, unlike most people, you have more safe space than you need, you might not put them in these. I don't know. Most people, though, they end up <laughs> with their guns kind of stacked together, cluttered, and all of that. Uh, I still would recommend these, to tell you the truth. Uh, I keep all my guns in these. Uh, I've got one for every firearm, I guess, that I own. And it uh, seems like I'm constantly buying more of them. But they're handy as all get out. Uh, they, keep, they, they serve two or three purposes. In the safe, you can, you can literally have them in there like that, and they're not going to get scratched up. All right. Now, they're, most of these, I think, are treated with silicone or something. I, I don't care about that. I, uh, I don't rely on that. I, it'd be fine with me if they were not treated with anything. I just like them, well, I like them for several reasons, but one is just because they give you a little padding. They prevent guns from scratching okay, each other. Okay, now you may have some old firearm, it's a beater, it's all scratched up already, but you love it. Still, if you put it in the safe, you know, in there against some other guns or as you're getting it out, maybe it's not against them as it's sitting in there, but as you're pulling it out from the back or something, you bang the other firearms, well, then you scratch the firearm that had no scratches on it, okay? Even that one you don't care about, the other one you did. So I highly recommend this. If you're a new shooter, you're just getting into firearms, you you've have found yourself with six, eight, or 10 or 15 firearms here in a safe you thought would be big enough, but they're kind of crammed in there. Uh, Invest in these, they're not that expensive. I think the, the handgun models are four or five bucks and then the rifle ones, maybe six, eight, 10, something like that. They're, it's money well spent. I mean, you can't wear them out. So uh, a good investment, very good investment. All right, you're not banging your guns around it, uh, into each other, all right? And, and I brought this one out as an example, the old Model 29 I've had since I bought new in 1974. And you see, I don't have a lot of, all the, all the, the scratches are from just wear, general wear. Now, I don't over baby it if I'm out here on the shooting table. It may, you know, be against the wood or something. Usually we have the leather down like we do now. But, but anyway, it's because I keep them wrapped up. Now, I used to, in the very early days, I kept them wrapped in a rag like this, kind of an oil-soaked rag. And that does a good job, too. But these are, it's like these are made for that purpose, right? So 
So that works out really well. And I have found that you don't need to, like this isn't quite long enough, that's okay. I, I actually like to have them just like this because I can tell what firearm is in there. And you get them all bagged up in there and the drawstring pulled tight. And you know, I don't know where that, what gun that is in there. Is that my 29 or whatever it is? So I have discovered that just having the end of it out, like I can tell that's my Schofield, see? Uh, you know, I can kind of spot what it is. And then uh, this is one of my favorite Colt single action, see? So I don't want to scratch that firearm up. That is a really nice firearm and you just don't want them banged up and and the beauty of it is it gives you the op option of just they can be lying there like that in the safe and uh, there's, there's no danger of scratching them all right uh so that's the plus it doesn't take up as much room if you are putting your guns in your safe in the gun rug like a big a zipper kind of a gun rug or something wow you are taking up a lot of space uh that's something i just don't do anymore ever because these take up so little space. I mean, they essentially don't add to the space, you know, uh, from the gun, other than maybe an eighth of an inch or something. So, rifle, same thing. Yeah, here's one. What we got? Yeah, so I don't want to scratch up. Now, this gun is scratched up. It's an old Model 92 a little bit, but I don't want to get, I, don't, I want scratches from general wear, not from, you know, banging against each other, okay, in the safe. You know, that's just a wonderful thing. And now I think I have the Henry out. Yeah, now would I want to scratch up this beautiful Henry? You know, look at that thing. Yeah, is that gorgeous? Now, now here's something else, another tip. One of the things I have gotten where I am doing is I haven't gotten around to all of them yet. I get rid of these stupid drawstrings. They drive me crazy. They hang on everything and even on the gun, the sight, when you're trying to slide them in there. See, you got to take care of firearms. This gives you the option of uh, yeah, putting it in the safe, leaning against other firearms, or if it falls against them, not a big deal. You bang an AR-15 against it, getting it out. You're not worried about the AR maybe, but you don't want to scratch your gun. It's just a simple thing to do. This other gun is an example too, because this is one that's borrowed. We've done a couple of videos with it and I, I have to return it. It's a soldier, Fort Campbell. He'll be back. He's, I think he's deployed or he's out for a little while. So. This is not my firearms, a beautiful gun. So obviously I want to take really good care of it and keep it in a gun sock, it's a rolling block. And uh, you know, anyway, that's yeah, one of the main points I wanted to make. Uh, now I'm not selling uh, socks. I don't own stock in any of the gun sock companies or whatever their name brands are. But I certainly, I don't even look at who, who makes them. I don't have a favorite, don't really care. They're all material. If if uh, if one of the department stores sold socks like we wear on our feet that were long enough, we might just use those, right? And uh, so that. Now the other thing, I kind of got the cart before the horse maybe. The other thing that is really important, I've always done it, is you're shooting a firearm or you got it cleaned and you're ready to put it back in the safe or do whatever you're gonna do there. Uh, Maybe you've just pulled it out to show somebody. Your brother-in-law's in, whatever, and he wants to see your Schofield, had seen a Schofield. Don't be afraid to handle it. You know, uh, some people, I've known some people, they don't want you touching the fire. Oh, don't touch the metal. Don't touch the metal. Just hold it by the wood. Well, how do you know they just held it by the wood? What if they got their thumb, okay, I'm just holding it by the wood, but they got a thumbprint right there and you didn't even see it. Uh, that's hard to do, because they're gonna wanna open it. They're gonna check, see if it's loaded right if they're observing the rules of handgunning or gunning so don't worry about whether they touch it or not because every time you touch your firearm you pick it up or they pick it up to look at it before you put it back away uh have a, a oily rag just dampened not soaking and dripping just just damp and then wipe it down that's i've done that forever and that has served me well all right so you want it to be just oil, you don't have oil on it, like you don't see oil floating around on this thing. I just got this rag dampened, and uh, I even turn the cylinder, make sure I've got all of that, and uh, the trigger guard, the whole thing's real, real simple and quick to do, and I stick it back in the gun sock, all right? No matter what the firearm is, rifle, handgun. If I've had it out, looking at it, uh, just working on it, whatever I'm doing, before I put it back, I just, I just give it the once over like that, hit the cylinder in all the spots and the trigger guard handle grip there and everything. And 
I might even put more oil on it. I might just squirt some on the, the serrated areas, things like that, just to make sure there's no moisture in there. I don't obsess over it. It's just very simple to do. Just have that. I have this hanging on one of my safe doors, door handle, okay? And I, it's just always handy. So have, have something like that handy somewhere. And most of you already probably do this, but we have a lot of new shooters out there, thankfully. And these are just some tips. So wipe that baby down. And, you know, and then make sure you just have it by the grip and slip it back in there. All right. So keep a dampened rag handy. And that way also, you don't, again, you don't have to uh, fear that somebody's going to touch your firearm or you want to show it to somebody. I don't ever worry about that. I, anybody that knows me and they want to see a gun or we've got one out we're looking at, I never am nervous about them touching the metal. I, in fact, that phrase has never even come out of my mouth, I don't think. I don't, I don't worry about it. How do you do that? How do you touch a firearm without touching the metal? And so I just wipe it down. It's not a problem. As, it's just automatic. It's just as automatic as opening the safe door. You know, grab this, wipe it down, put it back in. All right, so those are the two main things I wanted to uh, just introduce you to if you were not familiar with them. You'd have to be a pretty new shooter if you're not familiar with these gun sock deals, okay? Uh, again, on the rifles, they don't take as the room that a big old scabbard kind of takes, you know? So if you've got a lot of safes where you could store your car, uh, a walk-in safe or something, maybe this wouldn't be as necessary. But for most of us, uh, you're gonna be banging them against each other if you're not careful eventually. And you never have enough safe space, it seems. So they're just, just really handy. Helps keep you know, dust out of the bore or anything like that too. So if you know anything I'm not, uh, I don't know in terms of some of these gun socks, like maybe you found some uh, or treated with something that does weird things or something, you know, let us know. But I've not experienced that. I just pick them up randomly whenever I see them, a six pack of them or whatever and uh, I use them religiously, okay? So you don't want your guns to rust and it's a simple matter to uh, prevent that. Life is